guys, Janine here, and in today's video, we are going to be learning about implicit differentiation. So implicit differentiation is a technique we use to take the derivatives of implicit functions, so functions that are not in the form y is equal to some function of x. So let's go ahead and take a look at this example here. So here we have x squared plus y squared is equal to 16, and so let's start out by taking the derivatives of each of our terms. And one thing is that whenever we take the derivative of a y variable, we need to multiply by dy dx. So let's go ahead and do that. So the derivative of x squared is equal to 2x, and the derivative of y squared is equal to 2y, but because we are taking the derivative of a y variable, we need to multiply by dy over dx. And then on the right-hand side, the derivative of a constant is just equal to zero. And then the next step is to move all of our terms that do not contain dy dx onto the other side. So let's go ahead and subtract both sides by 2x. So these 2x's cancel out and we are left with 2y dy over dx on the left hand side and on the right hand side we are left with negative 2x. And from here, we want to solve for dy dx, so we're going to go ahead and divide both sides by 2y. So we get dy over dx is equal to, these twos cancel out, so we are left with negative x over y, and so that is our answer. And so let's go ahead and take a look at one more example. So in this next example here, we have x squared plus xy plus y squared is equal to 5. So let's start out by taking the derivatives of each of our terms. So we have x squared here, so the derivative of that is 2x. And then we have a product of two functions, so we need to use the product rule for that. So let's go ahead and label our two functions. So we have our first function x and our second function y. And so the product rule tells us that the derivative of a product is equal to the first, so x, times the derivative of the second, so the derivative of y is equal to 1 of dy over dx, and then plus the second function, so y, times the derivative of the first function, so that's equal to 1, and then we have plus the derivative of y squared, which is equal to 2y times dy over dx. And again, we have to multiply by dy over dx here because we are taking the derivative of a y variable. And the derivative of a constant term is just equal to zero, so we have a zero on the right-hand side. So from here, let's go ahead and move all of our terms that do not contain dy over dx onto the other side of our equation. So that is this 2x term here, and this y term here. So we are left with, on the left-hand side, x dy over dx plus 2y dy over dx is equal to minus 2x minus y. And so on the left-hand side, let's go ahead and factor out a dy over dx. So we get dy over dx times x plus 2y, and then on the right-hand side, let's go ahead and factor out a negative sign. So from here, what we're going to do is we're going to solve for dy over dx, and so what we're going to do is we're going to divide both sides by x plus 2y. And so these two cancel out, and we get dy over dx is equal to negative 2x plus y over x plus 2y. And that is our final answer. And so that is how you use implicit differentiation to find the derivative of an implicit function. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.